As of Tuesday the 14th of January 2020, and over a decade after its release, Windows 7 is no longer officially supported by Microsoft. This means that users running any version of Windows 7, other than volume licensed professional and enterprise editions for businesses which will receive paid extended security updates until the 10th of January 2023, will no longer receive free security patches through Windows Update. For various reasons, which I'm not going to discuss in this particular video, many current users of Windows 7, myself included, do not wish to take up Microsoft's offer of a free upgrade to Windows 10, nor do they want to switch to an alternative operating system such as Mac OS or Linux. Therefore, the aim of this special Windows on Windows episode is to educate those users who are wishing to remain with Windows 7 on some basic strategies that they can put in place easily in order to maximise their computer security and their safety going forward in the absence of official security patches by Microsoft. Please note that many of the suggestions I am going to make are regarded as general good practice when using any operating system and therefore hopefully you should be doing most of these things already. So without further ado, let's start. Number 1. Don't panic, Windows 7 will still work. The end of support for a Windows operating system does not mean that your computer will suddenly stop working. Windows 7 will continue to work just the way you're used to, at least for the time being. Nothing will happen to your personal files, and you don't have to move on from Windows 7 unless you want to, again, at least for the time being. With that cleared up, let's take a look at how to get the best out of using Windows 7 going forward. Number 2. Have an antivirus program and keep it up to date. Personally, I use Microsoft's own free Security Essentials program. Even though Windows 7 is now out of support, Microsoft has pledged to keep Windows 7's version of its Security Essentials program updated until sometime in 2023. Whilst the download link to Security Essentials has now been removed from Microsoft's own website, a quick search online will lead you to many alternative websites where you can download it from. I will provide one of these links in the video description. Alternatively, you may wish to use an alternative antivirus program such as those by AVG or Avast, both of which are also free. Number 3. Have a firewall. This one's easy as Windows 7 already includes a built-in firewall to help protect the operating system from internet-based attacks, and this firewall will still function despite Windows 7's end of support. Number 4. Use a modern web browser and keep it up to date. The final update for Windows 7's built-in browser, Internet Explorer, came on the operating system's final day of support. However, this update only applied to the latest version of Internet Explorer, version 11. So, whilst Internet Explorer 11 is okay to use in the short term, with no more security updates coming in the future, Windows 7 users who are currently using Internet Explorer 11 should aim to move to a supported browser. The most popular web browser, Google Chrome, still supports Windows 7, and this would be my recommendation going forward. However, please anticipate that Chrome support for Windows 7 will not last indefinitely. When Windows XP, another extremely popular Windows version, reached its end of support in 2014, Google Chrome support continued for around another two years after the end of support date, ending in April 2016. So, you can probably expect a similar timescale for Google Chrome support on Windows 7. Alternatively, and kind of bizarrely as it turns out, on the 15th of January 2020, just one day after Windows 7's end of support, Microsoft released a new version of its Microsoft Edge browser for Windows 7. This is because, while this new version of Edge was in development, Windows 7 was still a supported operating system, and Microsoft said they would provide the new version of Edge for all versions of Windows that were supported during its development. Number 5. Be vigilant when browsing online. Check web addresses carefully when entering them, as small typing errors can take you to different websites whose aim is to trick you into giving over personal information, or to trick you into downloading a virus or some other sort of malicious program. These websites often look like adverts, or the website that you were trying to access when you mistype the address. 
It's a good idea to use different passwords for each account you use online. The longer the better, and ideally with a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. Remember that no company associated with any of your accounts will ask for your password in messages or in emails. Number 6. Beware of scaremongering. While it is of course good to be informed of the safety and security risks of anything you may use, when it comes to the end of support for a Windows version, I have noticed a lot of scaremongering both online and also from Microsoft themselves. You may have heard that you need to disconnect your Windows 7 computer from the internet to be able to continue using it safely, but this is not necessarily true. There is no reason to suspect that your computer will become infected with a malicious program or programs now, any more so than it did before the end of support date. Remember that on the end of support date, Microsoft actually provided security patches. So your Windows 7 computer, at least for the time being, is still as secure as it was before. Also, if you follow the general good habits that I have already mentioned earlier in the video, it is extremely unlikely that your security will be compromised. You can keep using your computer and you can keep browsing the internet. Just be vigilant as always. If a very serious security threat is identified in the near future, be aware that it's very likely that Microsoft will make an exception to Windows 7's end of support and provide a security patch for this threat. Microsoft have shown in the past that they take fixing Windows security issues very seriously, even going so far as to provide multiple security patches for extremely important security issues identified in Windows XP, even after its end of support date. Number 7. Move to Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. This special version of Windows 7 technically a member of the Windows Embedded Operating System series and designed for use in industry for things such as ATM machines and cash registers, is almost identical to the regular editions of Windows 7 and is officially still supported by Microsoft until the 21st of October 2021. This means that it will continue to receive security patches through Windows Update during this time. Even though it's designed for industry use, there is no technical reason why you can't install it on a home computer or laptop. A downloadable evaluation version of POS Ready 7 is available from the Microsoft website, and again I will provide a link to this in the video description. You may wish to switch to this operating system to buy you a bit more time with the Windows 7 experience, with the added peace of mind of future security updates. I hope this video has been educational and helpful in alleviating some of the potential fears around running an unsupported version of Windows. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I, or I'm sure one of the many great individuals that make up the Windows on Windows community will be happy to help. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.